What's up, everyone? The question has come up already. Uh, when do I need to look at buying my instrument? Um, and what else should I buy in addition to just uh, the instrument? Um, this is a quick video of what I have, some of the recommendations. So this is specifically for pipers. Drummers get with Hendy. He will be able to answer your questions on um, when, where, how much, uh, and what else you guys need, okay? Um, for the pipers, uh, after talking with Jamie, he believes that around the six month mark is when you should be moving from the practice chanters onto the pipes. Um, that's pretty consistent. It took me about six months. I started in March and I uh, was getting on my instruments or trying to get on an instrument right around Christmas. Um, so I would start looking at them right now. There's a couple great websites out there. I'll put links on the email as well. Um, Henderson's is where I got mine. They have a layaway program, which is really nice, especially if you're going to be spending a large sum of money. Um, you can do it over six months and it made it like $300 a month. Um, my pipes ended up being a little over $2,000. Um, the basic stock bare bones poly pipes, which is plastic, uh, they look the same, they sound the same, uh, they last longer. I'm actually gonna buy a set myself just because when you're going around to the bar gigs and stuff, it's nice to not have to worry about your $2,000 um, rare Af African blackwood. Uh, those run about $800. Um, and they're great. And you can get the same uh, engraving and stuff, the fire department engraving, the Celtic knot, the thistle, all that stuff. Um, so that's what I'd recommend, especially for a first set of pipes. Um, just taking a look at that, okay? Henderson's, Lone Star Piper, um, Jay Higgins, those are kind of the three that I generally go to for all my bagpipe stuff, okay? Um, I'm going to show you my pipes. I'm going to show you the bags and some of the accoutrement that I've uh, acquired over the years. And then if you have questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. So your pipes will come assembled when you order them. Uh, it'll give you options for your uh, bagpipe cover. We go with the black cover. I get the pad. This is just a kind of a sticky piece of um, material that keeps it sucked into the side of your body so it doesn't slide down. Go with the silver trim. Okay, not the fringes. I made that mistake. Just the silver trim, okay, and silver cord, okay. These are African blackwood with the Celtic engraving. Um, these are called the projecting mounts. These are ferrules. Uh, so if it's asking you what you want for that, you can pretty much design whatever you want. If you want the fire department one, go with the fire department one. Continuing down, they will all. It'll ask you what kind of set of drone reads. We all go with the easy drones, and that'll be an option. Uh, the easy drone reads are, like I said, pretty much standard for what we get. As far as the bag, tons of different options. Generally for the band, what we did is we all went with the banditine bag, okay? Mine is a WMC, which stands for Willie McCollum. It is a um, – hybrid between a medium size bag and an extended small. Um, I realize a lot of that is kind of gibberish and just going right over your heads. It's understandable. Um, you need to feel what size bag before you order it. So we've got a couple different sizes in the band. I know for the most part, it's the William McCollum's or the mediums. Out of practice, we'll blow them up. You put them under your shoulder, ask Jamie for his opinion, and he'll get you squared away. Okay, as far as material, mine is fully synthetic. So the nice thing about mine, comes with a zipper on the bottom, I can just wipe this out and it's done, okay? It doesn't collect mold as much, um, the moisture system, um, it doesn't keep that moisture in there, so it's a little bit easier to maintain. The downside is because it's, it's just this piece of Gore-Tex, it does not stay blown up. So what I would recommend, and take this with a grain of salt because I've never actually played one, but they make an actual hybrid bag. So it would be this material on the inside of the bag here, but on the outside, it's actual leather or um, the actual hide. So you get that nice stretch. It will retain air and it retain its shape a little bit more, but then you have the benefits of the moisture control on the actual inside of the bag, okay? Um, and then it'll ask you what kind of chanter. If you say no soul, 
it won't come up with this, and that's soul spelled S-O-L-E, not S-O-U-L. Um, if you want the engraved soul, that's what this looks like, okay? So generally, when you order your pipes, it'll come with all this. Your bag, your chanter, your blow stock, the actual drones, tenor, tenor, bass. It'll come with the cord already taken care of for you and the bag. It will also come with either one of these bags, which you can order, it's an upgrade, or this is the actual bag that generally it comes with. Um, pros and cons, this kind of suitcase style, it does the job. It's just a little more difficult to kind of move around. This one is nice. I upgraded to this just because I like the backpack style. Okay, it's nice to just throw that on your back. Uh, so again, my pipes, uh, the African Blackwood with the, uh, the alloy uh, with the Celtic engraving cost me right around $2,000, okay? Um, you can almost get the exact same look with those poly pipes for right around eight or $900. Um, some of the things that I would recommend ordering in addition, okay? First is gonna be some type of hearing protection. These are from the station. I tried to get electronic ones. These suck, don't get these, but if you want, get some type of hearing protection. This thing is gold, all right? This is called a moose valve. I got this through uh, Jay Higgins. Uh, Lone Star Piper again has it, Henderson's. Um, when you're blowing into this bag, the intent is to keep as much air in the bag without go going back out. This thing just makes it so much easier to blow. Um, this is hemp. I would go with a waxed hemp. I would get some black waxed hemp and some gold waxed hemp and then some tape. Okay, and the tape is so that when we're tuning our chanters, we actually put it over each of the holes to kind of bring the band into pitch with each other. So those are generally what I would recommend. Now, here are some of the optional things, things that I've acquired along the way. Um, I purchased a moisture control system as well as some drone valves. Drone valves were intended to make it a little bit easier to strike in. Um, they also reduce the amount of air that's going out of the drones um, if you find it too difficult. Um, so I ordered these. I didn't like them, okay? The drone valves, and they had like these uh, humidor kind of moisture capturing tubes. I just wasn't a fan, and they would hook on to the drones on the inside. You can look at something like that. Honestly, um, I just learned to play the bags a little bit better. Um, or I don't know, more difficult. Anyway, moving on. Um, Lone Star Piper now makes a kit, which I think is awesome, but just a bagpipe maintenance kit. Something to maintain your pipes, especially if you're going with the Blackwood. This stuff pretty much takes care of all of the, um, maintenance. It keeps the wood moisturized. Um, it'll polish it. That'll get the oil on the inside. And the reason that you buy that is because this African blackwood is a um, very dense, very moist wood. If it dries out, it starts cracking. When it cracks, you have to get a new one. You have to get new uh, stocks, which you can. It's just, it's costly. So if you maintain it, if you oil it and you take care of it, it's a lasting investment, okay? Um, generally, that is uh, the go-to. The last thing I'd recommend you buying are a set of uh, cork valves. Okay, or corks, um, sorry. And they also sold on them. So they look like these big black corks and we can cork off the actual drones, just like this one is here. Uh, as you're learning and you're still getting used to blowing into the pipes, um, those come in handy, as well as when you're making sure that your bag is airtight, you get an actual um, cork valves or corks that go into the actual stocks, okay? So, I know that was a lot of information for you. I'll try and write down a list for you guys and attach it to this email so that way you know. Um, you can take a look at my pipes. Uh, Brock has a set of pipes that are a little bit different. O'Connor has different. Uh, Bleaker, Kerrigan, we all kind of have a little bit different flair. The only things that should be uniform, again, is the bag color, which should be black. 
the trim, which should be silver, and then the cord should be silver. Everything else, you guys can pretty much order whatever you want. If you want to try something else besides the easy drones, be my guest. Um, they just might have a little bit different intonation than ours do. Um, as well as the bags and everything else. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a line. Let me know at the next practice. And I hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you soon.